Alright, tight so let me put point here. It'd be pretty nice to get a walk. Or default to the bottom. Uh, so I'm such a very to open the bottom. I expect him to open a decent amount here because A, he thinks I'm gonna play tight, and B, he doesn't expect pimes to be active that often. Now this is a really good spot in my opinion to just go all in. Is there, like the one thing is that Sergei Barrison is opening a lot of hands and Pimes never has a premium hand when he flat calls here from the small pot. I don't think so. There's a ton of dead money in the pot. Plus my image has been really tight so far. And my hand plays pretty well even if I do get unlucky and get called. Yep, that's a nice pot. So I feel like that's a pretty good example of me just like not getting frustrated even though people are opening a lot and just waiting to squeeze until I have a legitimately good spot. Like what I'm sure of. With a hand that plays well if I do get called and just with an optimal setup like one guy opening wide, one being like having a really weak range, just stuff like that. Makes it really profitable. I picked up a lot of chips, like 50k or something. Like, that adds a lot of value to my stack right now. And, like, it, it means that I can just, like, sit around for a while and, like, at the pace that people are racing and shoving here, like, it's so extreme that I can hopefully just sit around and. I know this sounds weak tied, it's not really. I will obviously take a good spot if it comes, but I can just sit around for a bit and wait. Or people to bust each other. Alright, there's a break here on post Contagia. <laughs> now, I made an error here. As you can see, Mormon is here no more. And it was just me being really dumb with Contagia and not realizing that <laughs> that he had busted. That's a little embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. But he's not with us anymore. He busted to um, Sergei Barrison. And to be honest, I don't even remember the hand. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that's that's not going to happen again, I promise that, but I was a little late with, with turning Contasia back on. So we're six-handed now. And again, like, pretty interesting pot brewing between Ronald Grammer and Times here. There are certainly like a wide range of different hands they both could have at this point. But with Ronald keeps betting on this turn, uh, I expect him to take a free card here fairly often and not be bluffing this turn much at all. Because I don't think he's going to make times full that many value hands. So I expect him, my guess would be that he has a I have a good hand here for the most part. Oh, and the blinds are up, by the way. It should be really easy to calculate now. And it's 5 and 10k. I have 20, 27 big blinds? Yeah. So, right in the middle of the pack, this round. I just pull queen fives over here. Standard. And ship it off, ships it in. Also kind of expected at this point. I'd expect Sergio Barrison to call fairly wide here. I definitely feel at this point that he should be aware that ship it off is, is gonna ship fairly wide. And he should adjust by calling with more more hands. Like more marginal pairs, more Broadway hands, uh weaker ASX. And certainly more ASX suited hands, just stuff like that. Like basic adjustments, but it was apparently fairly weak this time. Ship it off, shipping it in again, and taking it down. He's picking his spot really well and getting a bit loggy too that, that no one has anything. Ace 8 off here, I'm gonna open that for a min race. And now it's my turn to get shot on. But I'm gonna pass out on this one. I just, it's too marginal. 
I would say I would have called there with Ace-10 off. Ace-9 off would be close, but I would pull that as well. Because I have, like, I have a pretty tight image, and I am also playing pretty tight, so... I think it's going to give me a lot of respect in that spot when I open there. And especially when the big blind has 15 big blinds as well, like, I'm not going to be opening pure trash there all that often. Alright, and here we have pieces snaps. Yeah, obviously really standard for both players. It's a good good shot by fighting chicken. It's just 15 big lines and Sergio Barros and his queen, so easy game. So if I had to evaluate my own uh, my own play in this video, I'd say I'd do it pretty well for the most part, but I did miss some spots. Um the King Tens suited hands turns out. The tens were probably a bit marginal, got really lucky there, and, and I made some mistakes heads up. But overall, I do think I played pretty well. Um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions at all to how I can make the next video even better, I would really appreciate it if you could put it in the comment box. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and this is uh, Miggy Peterson signing off.